Welcome to the Signal Star Cell training course. In this course, we're going to learn about the Signal Star Cell. We're going to learn the basics, how to use it. We're also going to learn how to use it in a biogenesis session, as well as some practical day-to-day -day applications for this tool. This course is going to take approximately three hours for you to do. Now, that includes time for practice sessions. And since you will be able to control how long you take for your practice sessions, your course time may be significantly shorter than three hours, or perhaps longer, depending upon how long you want to take for your practice sessions. There are several different lessons, about 19 of them actually, and in most of the lessons you are going to have a practice session. Lantos will give the instructions, Lantos will give the, the knowledge in the lessons, uh, via Cindy, you will hear those instructions, those lessons, and in those lessons he will give the instructions for the practice sessions. I will come on again at the end of the lesson just to go over the instructions again for the practice session, making sure that you understand what you're supposed to be doing. At that point, you will be able to pause the video playback, take as much time as you wish to do the practice session, and then when you're ready to resume, simply resume the playback of the video. That way you get to control how much time you take on the practice sessions. You also get to take breaks whenever you want to. Okay, let's get ready to start. Let's start up by ringing the bell of Genesis. And we will invite the angels and the great beings of light to be with us. Beloved great celestial host of angels, beloved great cosmic beings of light, beloved masters of light, we send you our heartfelt love and gratitude for all that you have done to bring forth the eternal light of Genesis on earth at this time, and for all you have done for each of us as we have sought to establish that eternal light within ourselves. We invite you to be with us for this star cell training course, and we thank you for everything that you are doing to help us find the highest path of elimination. We thank you. Let's go ahead and begin. Welcome, dear ambassadors of the light of Genesis. Seekers of knowledge. Seekers of light. Seekers of the path of illumination leading to the goal of eternal light. Eternal light is to be lived. Eternal light is to be lived by all. Dear ambassadors, your role is to guide, to assist, to show the way. In the fullness of light, the guidance is not so much needed. It is a simple task to see the way in the fullness of light. We are establishing the chambers of eternal light in locations around the world to bring about a global network of light, to bring about the platform for the fullness of light, when this blessed webwork of light is fully established, the path will be illumined for all. It will be a simple and automatic process. The selection of the right path, the process of choosing the right action, will be nearly automatic. Nearly. We say nearly because always there is some individual process of selection. The fullness of light will illumine all. This is the blessing of the great star. The great star of Genesis is the star of illumination. As ambassadors, 
we direct our efforts at this time to the full establishment of the great global structure, the great global network to form the platform for the emergence of this mighty star of supreme light. This is our direction, our direction for action. Along this path, along the path of living, many choices are made, some of little consequence, others with greater effects. In the presence of a blessed chamber of eternal light, in the presence of a great seal of Genesis, within a circle of the great cosmic spheres, the actions are illumined. The actions are blessed by the radiance of the great tools of light. And yet, action is a cosmic event. Every action generates far-reaching effects. Effects spreading to the environment. Effects spreading across time. Lasting through the course of time. Action originated in light will carry light. Waves of light rippling outwards. Positive action emits greater influence than negative action. Positive is stronger than negative. Therefore, the trend of existence is carried forward in the positive direction. As ambassadors of the great light of Genesis, we direct our action along the proper path. This is positive action. Action of the proper path. The path leading most directly and most smoothly to the goal. We have received the highest knowledge of the art of creating. This is the sublime process of the emergence of light, form, and structure. Now, as ambassadors of action, in these days, leading to the establishment of the platform of global light. We must learn the process to fine tune our actions. We are refining our selections. We are carefully choosing our path to ensure that it is one which leads directly and smoothly to the goal. We are mastering the art of creating. Now we will learn the steps to be ambassadors of action, illumined action, action which through the great light it carries will send waves of purity, waves of upliftment, stretching across time. In our training course, we are training to become ambassadors of action. Action is conducted with a purpose. There is an intent behind every action, an intent which spurs on the action. Blessed Masters of the Art of Creating, 
You are skilled at forming an intent. The rise of the intent. Now, during this session of knowledge and experience, we will fine tune the selection of the intent. Intent is the seed. The seed which develops into the plant. The seed which develops into thought, form, or action. We will refine this selection of intent. Before the development of the garden, the seeds are carefully selected. Blessed Masters of the Light, the work is in the establishment. The formation of the global platform, the global network of light, Once established, the blessings of the presence of the great star of Genesis will shine for all. Like gardeners, we will carefully select our seeds of action, that the garden will become supreme. A master gardener is an ambassador of illumined action one skilled in selecting the seeds. Selection of the seeds is the selection of the pathway one is taking. And this, dear ones, is a most important, a most significant selection. Every garden has a cycle. Certain seeds are planted at certain times. Action two has a cycle, a period of timing when certain forms of action are supported above others. Selection and timing. Both aspects are significant for the formation of illumined action. Dear ambassadors, you have received your precious signal stars. And Lantos paused at that time. And I responded that, yes, I believe that the, everyone has received their signal stars. These small, small tools pick up waves of influence. The signal cells pick up the impulses of selection and timing. The signal cell is the tool for the ambassador of action. It is a tool for the master gardener. First, let us make some arrangements for our training environment. Select an area for this training. We will require a chair and a table. If a chamber of eternal light is available, we will position it beneath our chair. We will position our chair under a great seal if one is available. Perfect. Ideal. This is ideal. We will place around the chair a complete circle of wheels. Also, we will require a pyramid for this room. The teacher must be present at the time of instruction. 
Place near to the chair, our bell of Genesis. The bell awakens the environment. It issues the call to the blessed beings of light. Very good. Very good. Now, a symbol near to the chair, the biogenesis tools. The variety of star cells, the wand, the flame, the translator, the complete collection of the tools of Genesis. Very good. Very good. As final preparation for our session, it will be good to drink from the holy waters. Before each session, it will be best if the holy waters are consumed for the purification and illumination. Also, we always present, have present, our pendant of eternal light. We may wear it or have it in a pocket or near to us. Yes, yes. Very good. These are the ideal conditions. If one or more conditions are not met, do not worry. Do not concern yourself over the missing elements. We offer the instruction for the ideal. But as ambassadors of action, we may work with that which is available to us at the moment. We will carry with us a signal cell. When we go here and when we go there, we will have our beacon signal. We may not have the other tools at all times, dear ones. It will be good. It will be good to always have our beloved pendant of eternal light as we are signaling. Together the beacon of the signal star may shine clearly, pointing us in the right direction, leading us along the proper path. Yes. Yes. This course is the course for the training of ambassadors of illumined action. Let us take several minutes to make these arrangements for our training environment, assembling the tools available. Good. Okay, in this introductory lesson, Lantus is simply giving an introduction to the course, and importantly for us right now, he gave the instructions as far as which tools you need to have available in order to take this course. Let's go through that list so that you can go ahead and make sure that you have those two tools available, at least whichever ones you do have. Now a table and chair, that part's pretty easy. A signal star, a pendant of eternal light, a chamber of eternal light, a great seal of Genesis, circle of wheels, a biogenesis pyramid, either the multicolored pyramid or the eight-sided pyramid, the bell of Genesis, the biotranslator, a singular star cell, a super star cell, a super water cell, the wand of Genesis, the flame of Genesis, the shield of Genesis, the pocket seal of Genesis, and even the elixir of life. Now, that's a long list, and it's a safe bet that a lot of you watching don't have all of those tools, especially the elixir of life. Lantos made it clear in this message that the presence of all of these tools is ideal but you will use what you have available to you. 
In fact, he made it clear that we're going to need to learn how to use the signal star when we have only it and the pendant of eternal light, because we should be able to use it when we're out and about in our daily lives, not sitting at home within a circle of wheels under the great seal. So just use whatever tools that you do have. Now setting up these tools, uh, you can see the list off to the right of me here. You will position the chair underneath the great seal, if you have a great seal. Uh, the table will be right in front of the chair. Place your chamber of eternal light underneath the chair. Now remember, the chamber doesn't go directly on the floor. You place it on a mat or a cloth so that it's not touching the floor directly. The top part of the chamber faces forward under the chair, which means it faces towards your ankles. Position a circle of wheels around the chair. Have a biogenesis pyramid nearby. Have the bell of Genesis within reach of the chair. And have the, all, all of the other tools nearby. Now, you can see uh, the picture that's to the right of me, how this setup looks. If you happen to have a sequence star cell, you can even create your own elixir of life. You can make your own elixir of life in order to have it uh, before you do these signaling sessions. Otherwise, just use whatever tools you do have. Let's take some time right now for you to be able to set up your practice area. Go ahead and pause the video, and when you are ready to begin, res resume the video. Welcome. We are prepared now to begin. First, we will perform our daily technique of the holy season, enlivening the surge of Genesis fusion. We ring the bell of Genesis. We now begin with this technique. Let's go ahead and conduct the technique of the holy season. So you will begin, of course, by ringing the bell of Genesis. Now, if you already know the third step of this technique, go ahead and do all the preliminary steps with the signal star. If you don't, then just do the first two steps that you were taught during the holy season. You will begin, you will begin by making sure you've got your chamber of eternal light underneath the chair, hold the super water cell in your left hand, the super star cell in your right hand, and you'll sit there quietly for two minutes. At the end of two minutes, put the super water cell and super star cell away, pick up the pendant of eternal light in your left hand, your personal bio trinity in the right hand. You will now do the technique of the personal pathway. This is the nectar of life technique for the next five minutes. After that, if you do know the third step, uh, go ahead and conduct the third step of the technique of the holy season. Pause the video playback at this time, and when you're done with the technique, go ahead and resume the video. Very good. Very good. This is Genesis Fusion. The upsurge of cosmic energy and radiance. Now pick up the signal star and the biotranslator. Place the translator before you on the table. Hold the star in the palms of your two hands together. We issue this intent. Beloved mighty presence of light, we ask for truth and clear direction. signaling the highest path of illumination. Good. Let us perform this together now. Express these words. Issue this intent. Beloved mighty presence of light, We ask for truth 
and clear direction. Signaling the highest path of illumination. For our first exercise, we will hold our personal bio trinity in the open palm of our left hand. Hold in the other hand between your thumb and four fingers the chain of the signal star in such a manner that the star may swing freely below. Hold the signal star a small distance above the bio trinity. An inch or two is enough. Some such small distance is good. Now, with both arms relaxed, allow the signal star to swing in any motion. If it does not swing, give it some time. The initial swing may change. Let us see what happens now. We will take a minute or two to practice this step. In this lesson, we begin our first exercise with the signal star. But we have to do something even before that. And that is we set the intent using the biotranslator. So have the biotranslator on the table in front of you. Then take your signal star, hold it together in the palms of both hands. Then you will issue the intent. Beloved, mighty presence of light. We ask for truth and clear direction, signaling the highest path of illumination. Once you've done that, then go ahead and take your personal bio trinity. Set aside the bio translator, take your personal bio trinity, and you are going to hold it in the palm of your left hand. Now, if you happen to be left-handed and you want to use the signal star in your left hand, that's fine. Go ahead and hold the personal bio trinity in the palm of your right hand. But take your personal bio trinity, hold it in the palm of one of your two hands. Then take the signal star. And there's a specific way that you're supposed to hold it. Lanto said, hold it between your thumb and four fingers. And he gave an exact answer to Cindy when Cindy asked him, what, which fingers exactly were we supposed to hold the signal star with? And Lanto said that it is the four fingers. He said the, first, the thumb and the first finger and the second finger. The first finger receives support from the second, just as the president receives support from the vice president. So these are the fingers that you will use to hold the signal star. Hold it over the personal bio trinity that will be in the palm of your other hand. Hold it just one to two inches over the personal bio trinity. And then simply allow the signal star to move, to swing in its own motion. Now you can see on, on the camera, you can see my signal star is swinging significantly. I've, whether you can tell it or not, right now it is swinging in a clockwise circular direction. Now yours may swing in a different direction. Yours may swing in a counterclockwise direction. It may go side to side. It may go forwards to back. But all you are to do is simply allow it to swing in any motion. Don't rush it. Just take time and allow it to swing in any motion. Notice how it is swinging. Let's take some time for this practice session. Go ahead and pause the video playback now. We will resume as soon as you're ready.
Yes. Do you get a signaling motion from the signal star? Some motion, some movement. You may rest your hand containing the bio trinity upon the table. Place the back of the hand downwards against the table. Open the palm and relax the fingers. Allow the bio trinity to rest upon this open palm. You may adjust the positioning of your fingers holding the chain of the signal star. You may hold the chain nearer to the end ring or you may position your fingers closer to the star cell as you feel most comfortable. Hold the signal star above your personal biotrinity. Let us see what happens. We will take another minute or two. Okay, now for this practice session, we're going to be doing the same thing, signaling over your personal biotrinity. The only difference is the hand that is holding your personal biotrinity, go ahead and set it so that the back of the hand is resting on the table in front of you. Then take your signal star and hold it one to two inches above the hand. Let it move in any motion that it wants and simply notice how it is moving. Take some time for this. We'll go ahead and pause the playback now. Okay. Very good. Is the star swinging in a specific motion? This may take several times of practice. Do not get tired. There is no need to rush for this signal. The signal will come by and by. The signal we receive with the personal bio-trinity in the palm is an indication of a positive signal, a positive response. The signal may be a circular clockwise motion. The signal may be a circular counterclockwise motion, or it may be a forward and backwards swinging or even a side to side motion. Any of these motions are correct. Any of these motions are signals of the positive indicator. This is a positive response, a positive signal. Initially, we are establishing the direction for a positive signal. We will continue in this practice. Let us place the bio trinity off to the side of the table and position in front of us a super star cell. Now hold the signal cell above the star. Let us see if this also swings in like manner. Very good. So in these two practice sessions, you have been experiencing the signal star over your personal bio trinity, and it probably moved in a similar motion each time. The motion of your signal star over your personal bio trinity is the motion of a positive indicator. This is a positive indicator for you. Your indicator may be different from others. 
So if you have a counterclockwise motion, but a friend of yours has a clockwise motion, it doesn't mean that one of yours is correct and the other is incorrect. It just means that you have now discovered your own positive indicator. Go with what you have seen in these last two practices. Now, take your personal biotrinity and set it aside. Take the super star cell. This is the large, clear star cell. Set it on the table directly in front of you. Take your signal star, hold it just one to two inches in front of or above the super star cell, and allow it to move in any motion as well. You're just barely able to see it. I'll move my signal star up so that you can see it's now actually about six inches above the superstar, but you can still see that it's moving as well. So you will do the same practice. Allow the signal star to move above the superstar cell. Take some time for this now. Pause the playback. When you're ready to start back up, resume the playback. Yes, very good, very good. There is motion, there is swing, some indication. Did the signal star give the same swing as before? A similar motion as before? A similar motion is very good. It is the positive indicator. And this precious tool, this super star cell, is a tool for the right side of the physical body. This is the positive side. Now let us place on the table the super water cell. Again, let us see what occurs as we hold the signal cell slightly above this great star. Very good. So the super star cell has the same indication as the personal biotrinity. It is a positive indicator that you will find over the super star cell. Go ahead and put that tool off to the side. Now pick up the super water cell and put it on the table in front of you. And once again, take your signal star and hold it just one to two inches above the super water cell. Notice the motion of the signal star as you hold it over the super water cell. Allow it to move in any motion at all. Give it some time and just let it move however it wants to. Go ahead and pause the playback now. When you're ready to resume, resume the playback. Do you see? Did this signal in the opposite manner? A different manner of swing? It is very good. Very good. This is our initial experience, and the practice is very good. The super water cell carries the opposite value of energy. This cell is used for the left side of the body and carries a different energy. Both energies are highly valuable. Each has its own purpose. Now place all three tools in front of you on the table. The Blessed Bio Trinity, the Super Water Star, and the Super Star Cell. For the next several minutes, we will experiment with the signals from each. For the best signal, it is good 
to hold the personal bio-trinity in the palm before you move on to signaling a star cell release the bio-trinity from the hand and place it off to the side leave the star cell and water cell on the table during this experiment do not place them in the hand very good good let us take some time for practice in five minutes we will resume very good so the motion of the signal star over the super water cell was probably different for you than the motion of the signal star over the super star cell or the personal bio trinity you'll recall the personal bio trinity and the super star cell both have a positive indicator while the super water cell has a negative indicator now latos made it clear that the fact that the super water cell has a negative indicator doesn't mean that it's a negative tool in fact it's a highly positive tool it just means that it carries the opposite form of energy the opposite energy from the super star cell and he said that the super water cell is a tool for the left side of the body which is negative the super star cell is a tool for the right side of the body which is positive that's the reason why you get a different motion now Take for this practice session, put all three tools on the table in front of you your personal bio trinity, your super water cell, and your super star cell. Go ahead and put these tools on the table in front of you. Take your signal star and signal over each of these tools individually. Take several minutes for this. When you are measuring signaling using the Bio Trinity, your personal Bio Trinity, it is best to actually pick it up and hold it in the palm of your hand. Once you have finished signaling with your personal Bio Trinity, move it off to the side. Leave the Super Water Cell and Super Star Cell on the table in front of you. And then one by one, use the signal star over each of those tools and simply allow yourself to get some practice. Noticing that over the personal bio trinity and over the super star cell, you should have a positive indicator, and over the super water cell, you should have a negative indicator. Very good. Pause the video playback at this time and resume when you're ready. Very good very good this is the swing this is the signal contained within the signal is a great deal of information it is a simple swing but the signal may indicate selection it may indicate direction and it may also indicate timing the force of the swing may increase or decrease according to the degree of response, positive or negative. We may say that a spin is positive or that a spin is negative, and yet this does not always indicate good or bad, just as the negative spin may appear above the water cell positioned on the table. This beloved tool is highly positive when positioned properly on the left side of the body. The super water cell is highly positive, and yet, if we are testing its own natural characteristics, we find that it holds an opposite quality, an opposite spin from the blessed star cell. One is positive in its spin characteristic. One is negative. 
Likewise, we have our precious wheels of Genesis. These wheels carry spin, spin of different qualities, spin of positive, negative, and neutral character. The nature of spin does not always indicate good and bad. This is an important point to keep in mind. As we are testing tools, we will find that at certain times, certain tools may signal positive, and at other times, the very same tools may signal negative. It is not that the tool is good or bad. The signal may come from selection, from direction, or from timing. In this training course, we will gain the knowledge of applying the signals to our biogenesis sessions as well as to other aspects of our daily lives. During this first part of our training por program, we will focus on the experience of gaining the signal. Gaining the signal as well as understanding the signal. We have now experienced the signaling of the positive spin as well as the signaling of the negative spin. Let us go back to these three tools, our beloved superstars and also our blessed personal bio-trinity. When we hold the signal star above the super water cell, we receive a negative signal. Now pick up this super water cell in the left hand and place the super water cell on the left side of the stomach region. Hold the signal star above this area and let us observe what happens to the spin. Let us do this now. In this lesson, Lantos introduced us to the idea that the signal star can indicate selection, direction, as well as timing. And remember, negative doesn't always mean bad. It can mean selection. The super water cell, for example, has a negative indicator. However, it can become quite positive. So the practice exercise for this lesson, you take the super water cell in your left hand, hold it over the left side of your stomach area, and then hold the super the signal star over the super water star, the super water cell, and allow it to move. And you'll notice that I'm holding it over the left side of my stomach, and this tool that was negative just moments ago is now strongly positive as I'm holding it over the left side of my stomach. Go ahead and take a few minutes to practice this. Take the super water cell in your left hand, hold it over the left side of your stomach region, and use the signal star over it. Very good, very good. Did the spin move now in the positive direction? It is just so. The spin of this precious super water star now signals positive. The reason for this is clear. The signal star measures the condition. Alone on the table, this super water cell exhibits its basic 
nature of negative spin. When applied to the left side of an individual, the overall condition as measured by the blessed signal cell shifts to highly positive. Such a blessing, such a blessing. To the negative, we often apply negative with superlative results. To the poisonous bite location, we apply the negative spin red ring. This is beautiful knowledge, beautiful. And the beauty lies in the simplicity as well as in the effects. It is simple. We must only understand the method of asking the proper question. Very good, very good. Now we will perform a small exercise. This will be especially valuable for those with complete sets of the cosmic spheres. We will spend some time going from wheel to wheel. We will signal each precious wheel individually holding each in the palm of our left hand. We will make three piles on the table according to the signals received. One pile is for the wheels which signal positive. The second pile is for the wheels which signal negative. And a third pile is for a new category of spin. At times, the signal may not clearly indicate positive or negative. This new spin we will label neutral. The third pile will be for those wheels which receive a neutral signal. Very good. Take your time. Do not rush. Let us begin. For this exercise, we are going to be using the wheels of Genesis. Gather all of the wheels that you do have up to a full set. If you have a circle of wheels around you, but you have another set of wheels, just take one set of wheels. So you'll end up with 27 wheels of Genesis. If you don't have all 27, gather whatever wheels you do have in front of you. I have simply picked up six wheels at random here. You are going to be holding each wheel individually in the palm of your hand. And just as we did with the BioTrinity, take the signal star and hold it over the wheel, one to two inches over the wheel, and notice how the signal star moves. Does it give a positive indicator? Does it give a negative indicator? Or does it give a neutral indicator? Then position the wheels into three different piles based on the indicator that you received for those wheels. This one, Aqua Blue Progress, gave a very strong positive indicator, so now I'll move on to Aqua Blue Transformation. And I am getting a negative indicator on this. It is counterclockwise for me. That is a negative indicator for me. So it goes in the negative pile. Now we have the Aqua Blue Regeneration, and I'm getting a neutral on this. So I have now done three wheels and one went into the positive, one into the negative, one into the neutral. Yours, they may all three be positive, they may all three be negative, they may all three be neutral, but simply set it into one of three piles based on the indicator that you receive. I'm now using the green progress, which is neutral. Green transformation for me is again neutral 
and green regeneration for me is positive. So out of my six wheels, I've got two in the positive pile, three in the neutral, one in the negative. When you have gone through all of the wheels, remove the wheels that are in the two piles of neutral and negative, leaving only the positive wheels on your table. Well done. Very good. Look at the collection of wheels which received a positive signal. Within this collection you will almost certainly find a variety of spin types as well as a variety of colors. This pile consists of the wheels which will promote the highest path of illumination for the mind as well as for the physical body at this present time. Now, if we are preparing a selection of wheels for a biogenesis session, we will select the wheels from this positive collection. Let us examine further the detailed aspects of the wheels which have signaled positive. At this time we will place aside the other two collections, the collections of the negative and neutral wheels on the table, position each of the wheels which signaled positive. One by one, hold again each of these wheels, noticing the degree of strength of the signal. Is the positive motion a slight movement, or is the motion strong and definitive? Place the stronger wheels into a new pile. You may now select from this collection of wheels the wheels to be applied for a personal treatment session. Let us carry out this step of determining the strength of the signal. One by one, hold each of the positive wheels and one by one determine the strength of the signal. Let us begin. For this practice session you are going to be focusing on those wheels that you put into your positive pile, the wheels that have a positive indicator, and you will go ahead and use the signal star over each of those wheels once again to find out just how strongly positive they indicate. Here I've got an aqua blue progress and it is, as you can see, very strongly positive. So it goes in the strongly positive pile. I've got my green regeneration wheel, which is positive but not very strongly positive. I've got a light violet progress wheel. And this one is, well, it's definitely positive, but it's not wildly positive. And then I've got the blue transformation wheel, and this one is strongly positive. So of the four wheels that I put in my positive pile, two of them were not strongly positive, so I'm going to set them aside. Two of them were strongly positive, those will be the two that I go ahead and use for my personal biogenesis session. Now if you're just doing this to select wheels for a standard biogenesis session, you can use all of the wheels that were in the positive pile. But for our next exercise, we wanted to narrow it down to only those wheels that signaled strongly positive. Go ahead and do this now. Pause the video playback. 
then you can resume when you're when you've done this practice session. Well done. We have come quite far along the path of knowledge of these precious signal stars. It is a good time to take a few minutes to gain rest and refreshment. Five or ten minutes. Then we will resume our instruction. Very good. Welcome. We continue with the beautiful waves of instruction, the expressions of knowledge, which offer assistance and guidance along the path. Sit comfortably. We have before us two collections of positive wheels, one which received a stronger positive indication and one which received a less strong but still positive indication. In our upcoming biogenesis treatment session, we would like to apply each of these strong positive wheels. However, we may find that there is still a mixture of spin types some may be progress, others may be transformation or regeneration. In order to apply all spin types, we will add our beloved star cells and super star cells. The addition of the energy of Genesis Fusion allows for all types of wheels to be applied within the same treatment session at the same time. We will pair together one wheel with one star cell. We will carefully match the spins of the wheels with the types of star cells. We will place progress and regeneration wheels together with the star cells and super star cells. We will place the transformation wheels together with water cells and super water cells. If we are performing a treatment at this point, we would apply these wheel and star combinations to placement locations on the body. We would position the star cells along the central core and on the right side of the body. And we would position the water cells transformation wheel combinations along the central core and on the left side of the body. Maximum benefit will be received. For now, we will not perform a treatment of this type. Instead, we will remain seated with our wheels and star cells on the table before us. We will again place our biotranslator on the table, pick up the precious signal star cell, holding this precious tool together in the palms of the two hands, we will again repeat our intent. Beloved, mighty presence of light, we ask for truth and clear direction, signaling 
the highest path of illumination. Good. Now we are ready for action. Hold properly the signal star cell. Pick up with the other hand one of the strongly positive wheels together with its corresponding star cell. If it is progress or regeneration, we will have a corresponding star cell or super star cell. Hold these tools up to a location on the central core or on the right side of the body. Allow the signal star cell to swing freely in the other hand. You may select any location along the central core or on the right side of the body. The motion will begin swinging. The signal star will begin to swing in motion. Wait for some time. If the swinging motion is very slight, change the location of the tools. Move the wheel and star cell to a different location. Find a location where the measure of motion is strong. If the wheel is a transformation wheel, you will have a corresponding water cell or super water cell. Position this combination along the central core or on the left side of the body and allow the signal cell to swing freely. Find a location which generates a strong positive swing. Hold the tools on this location as the star cell swings freely. The direction of the swing may change from time to time it may begin with a strong positive direction and shift to a neutral or negative direction and back again to a positive direction. This may occur. We will hold the wheel star combination on this location until the swinging has completely subsided. Once stopped, we will place the wheel and star on the table. Let us experience our first combination of wheel and star tools with this signal star cell process. We will allow five minutes for this first combination. Very good. Now that you have selected the wheels that were strongly positive for your personal biogenesis session right now, we are going to couple them with star cells and water cells. There's a very specific way in which to do this. Progress wheels and regeneration wheels can be used with super star cells and singular star cells. These are the smaller glass ones. Transformation wheels can be coupled with the super water cell. It can also be coupled with the smaller water cells. Those are the sequence star cells used for your elixir but a lot of times those are just used for elixirs. So if you have super water cells, go ahead and use those for the transformation wheels. Now, 
The super water cells are used for the left side of the body. The super star cells are used for the right side of the body. That means that when you have these wheels coupled with the star cells and water cells, you use them on the side of the body that is relevant to the star cell or water cell. That means if you are using a progress or regeneration wheel, you couple it with a star cell or a super star cell, and you would then hold it along the central core of your body or the right side of your body. If it is a transformation wheel, you couple it with a super water cell and hold it over the central core of the body or along the left side of your body. Now for the exercise, you are going to take your signal star, hold it in the palms of both of your hands, have the biotranslator on the table in front of you. We issue the command, you can ring the bell of Genesis beforehand. You issue the intent, beloved mighty presence of light, we ask for truth and clear direction, signaling the highest path of illumination. Very good. Set aside the biotranslator, pick up one of the wheels and the star cell or water cell that you have coupled with the wheel, and find a location along the central part of the body, the central core, or the side of the body that is relevant for that wheel and star cell or water cell. Right now I've got a transformation wheel and a water cell, and you'll notice my signal star is not signaling positive right now, so I'm going to continue to move until I find, so now, now I have found a location along the left side of my body that has a strong positive indicator, a strong positive signal. So you will do this, take one of the wheels and the star cell or water cell with it, hold it along the central core or along the side of the body that's relevant for that wheel and star cell. Then slowly move it around until your signal star has a strong positive indicator. Keep it there until your signal star stops swinging, stops moving. Now your signal star may switch from positive to negative to neutral, back to positive, but eventually it will stop moving. And once it stops moving, then you're done with the practice. You're done with the exercise. Mine is still moving just a little bit, but it may move for a few minutes. So we're going to stop there. You can go ahead and pause the video now. Do this exercise. Resume when you're ready. Yes, very good, very good. You see, in this way, the precious signal star is indicating direction as well as timing. We allow the wheel and star combination to offer its influence, its effects through a specific location, a specific location on the physical structure. The influence of the star cell is best received on the right side of the body, and the influence of the water cell is best received on the left. The central core accepts both forms of expression of the blessed star cells, positive and negative. Direction may apply to the specific location on the body. One location may receive the energy and influence more fully, more completely than another location this level of receptivity is detected by the signal star. This is direction.
timing is also considered and indicated through the swings of the signal cell. When the influence begins, when the influence ends. If we treat the physical body repeatedly throughout one day with the same wheel and star combination, it may occur that the signal star's positive indication diminishes. The body has received the effects, the influence. The structure has shifted and therefore, after several repetitions, it may be that the influence is not required again at that specific time. If the same combination is signaled the following day, we may find that it is again required. This is timing. Not all influences are required at all times. Timing is involved with actions. Let us pick up another wheel star combination from our strongly positive collection. Hold the combination onto several different locations and discover the different strengths of response indicated by the swinging motion of the signal star. When a strong response is indicated, continue holding the wheel star combination onto this location. Continue until the swinging motions have subsided. Let us begin. Very good. So now you will take another wheel from your strongly positive selection, use it with its relevant star cell or water cell, take it along the central core of the body or along the side of the body that's relevant, and hold your signal star until you find a location that is strongly positive. So this is just what we did in the last exercise. It's just now you're using a different wheel and a different star cell. And continue to hold it there until your signal star stops moving. When it stops moving, continue to hold the wheel there along with the star cell or water cell and resume the video playback. Good. Do you feel the effects of this process? Now, instead of placing aside this combination, we will simply move it around to a different location on the physical structure, observing carefully the response of the signal star. If swinging motion begins in a new location, Hold the wheel and star in that new placement until the motion of the signal star subsides. Check along the central core as well as on the right side or left side depending upon the type of star cell which is being applied. Let us search now for these additional areas of response. So now your practice session is to take that wheel and star cell or water cell where there had been a strong positive indicator and then the signal star stopped moving. Now continue with the same wheel and star to move it around until you find another location of strong positive swing and then hold it there until the signal star stops moving. Go ahead and do this now. We have experienced now the process of selection, direction, and timing indicated through the signals issued 
by our precious signal star cell. The use of this precious tool may be applied on an individual physical level as we have been experiencing today. It may also be applied on other levels, other levels of focus for the individual, such as the mental or spiritual levels. Also, we may apply the signals from our precious tool onto the broad levels of society, such as regional and world issues. At this time, let us break for rest and refreshment, and we will return for knowledge in 10 minutes. We ring the bell. We ring the bell of Genesis, the bell of victory, the bell of awakening. This sound sends the call of invitation to the mighty great beings of light. With both hands, we hold our precious tool of beacon light, our signal star cell, and issue this intent. Beloved mighty presence of light, we ask for truth and clear direction, signaling the highest path of illumination. Very good. Now, it will be good to gain the understanding of other applications for our precious signal star. Knowledge may be obtained from a distance. Distance is no barrier to knowledge. That which is far away may be known here. As we begin to experience this principle of universal dynamics, we may use certain tools to assist with this process. Tools may include an object, a photo, a map, or other images of the object or region. Let us clear the table from objects. Place onto the table a photograph of your home or your place of work. Use a photograph taken of the front side of the location. A photo facing the front. We will establish an intent. Increase prosperity. Take a sheet of paper and write this intent and place this next to the photo. Do this now. So in this session, we are going to be learning how to use the signal star on day-to-day -day things, not in a biogenesis treatment session. We start in preparation, ringing the bell of Genesis. Take your biotranslator, have it on the table in front of you, hold the signal star in the palm of both hands, issue the intent, beloved, mighty presence of light. We ask for truth and clear direction, signaling the highest path of illumination. Now, clear the table of all of the items that you have on it. Take a photograph of your home or your place of work, and it should be a photo of the front. So that means facing the front door of your home or your place of work. Here is a photo that I took. It is the front of the building that I happen to live in. Then take a piece of paper and write increase prosperity on the piece of paper. 
have the photograph on your table, have the piece of paper sitting next to it, lying next to it on the piece of on the table. Go ahead and do that now. If you need to run outside and take a picture of the front of your home and then print it out and then come back in, go ahead and do that. Pause the video playback and resume when you're ready. Very good. Very good. Now assemble these tools. The Biotrinity of the Personal Pathway. A pyramid, a wand, a biotranslator, and an amplifier. We will also gather a super star cell and a super water cell. We will begin by placing the pyramid in the top left corner of the photo. The pyramid may rest on top of the photo or it may be positioned off the photo, yet near to it. Position the biotranslator together with the amplifier in the top right corner. Position the two star cells in the lower corners, the water cell in the left, the star cell in the right, lower corner. Now, we will place the biotrinity of the personal pathway onto the photo itself. We will place the biotrinity in the center of the photo. Now, let us take the wand and place it anywhere on the photo. We will see now the indication of our signal star. Hold the signal star above the wand and move the wand very slowly around the photo into different locations until a specific location is found which generates a strongly positive signal. We will position this wand in this specific location. Just as we have done for our personal treatment with the wheel and star combinations, we will allow the signal star to swing freely above the wand. The swinging rotations may shift direction. They may pause and restart. We will allow the swinging to continue until the swinging subsides. After the swinging subsides, we will adjust the position of the wand on the photo, identifying a new location of positive signal. Let us do this now. Okay, so now you have the tools that you need for this. You have your pyramid, your bio translator and bio amplifier, the super water cell, the super star cell, your personal bio trinity, and the wand of Genesis. You will, as always, have your pendant of eternal light with you and the signal star. The positioning of the tools is important. The pyramid goes in the top left corner of the photograph. The biotranslator and bioamplifier go in the top right corner. The super water cell goes in the lower left corner. The super star cell goes in the lower right corner. Your personal biotrinity goes on the center of the photograph. And then you place the wand anywhere on the photograph. You can take a look at the picture to my right and you'll see how this looks when you have the tools on the photograph. Now, once you have done this, you will take the wand and you'll position it anywhere on the photograph. I'm going to try to make this so that you can see, you may not be able to see the motion of the signal star, 
but I'll tell you what it's doing. So I'm moving the wand slowly around on the photograph, just all over the photograph, until I find right here is a strong positive indicator. So you can see the signal star is moving strongly positive. Now I'm going to leave this here, I'm going to leave the wand here and the signal star over it until it stops moving. So again, it may move from positive to negative to neutral, back to positive. Let it continue its motion until it stops completely. This could take several minutes. Once it stops, then with the wand, slowly move it around on the photograph again until you find another location where you receive a strong positive signal from the signal star. Leave the wand in that location until the signal star stops moving. Then move the wand again, slowly around the photograph. This exercise could take you quite some time. This can take 5, 10, 15 minutes as you go around the photograph waiting for the signal star to stop moving in each case. Now, one question that we had for Lantos for people who live in a building. Should you have a photograph of the front of the building or just your personal entrance door, so the entrance to your unit? Lato said either may apply. If the front of the building is used by others, the influence will be considered for all. The more specific the door, the more specific the direction of the energy. So you can use the front door of your building and your neighbors will love you for it because you're going to benefit your neighbors. Or you can use your own personal entrance door, the door to your unit, and it will be tailored specifically to you. Go ahead and pause the video at this time. Start it up again when you are ready. Very good. You see? Yes. In this way, we may apply the tools for use at a distance. Knowledge at a distance. There is no barrier to knowledge. It will be very good to end the sessions with a seal of protection. For this, we will assemble several additional tools. Please collect a pocket seal, a shield, a flame, a pendant of eternal light, and our beloved super cells. We may remove now the other tools from the photo. To seal in this session of knowledge, we will now position our beloved Pendant of Eternal Light in the upper left corner, the Pocket Seal in the upper right corner, and our Blessed Star Cells may be returned to the lower corner positions of the photo. Above the photo, we will apply the use of the shield and flame. Direct the flame at the shield and hold these tools above the surface of the building, waving the flame with circular and side-to-side -side motions. One to two minutes will establish a valuable shield to seal the effects of the previous session. It is well worth this minute of protection. Let us accomplish this final step of the process. Very good. The practice session for this lesson is to establish a seal of protection over your home 
over the work that you just did to increase prosperity. So remove the tools and then put these tools on the photograph. The pendant of eternal light will go in the top left corner. The pocket seal will go in the top right corner. The super water cell in the lower left corner. The super star cell in the lower right corner. You will then take the shield of Genesis and the flame of Genesis, hold the shield just over the center of the picture, over the main part of the picture, take the flame, and you will use a circular or a side-to-side -side motion over the shield directed toward the photograph. And you will do this for one to two minutes. One to two minutes. And it's important to do this after every time that you do this prosperity technique. Go ahead and take the time to do this now. Blessed Ambassadors of Illumined Action, it is not enough to say action. Action must be for progress. Progress is movement along the right path, the highest path. Each action is significant. Every action generates influence. Influence which is embedded in the lands and waves of influence which travel outwards reaching across the vast realms. Positive action generates positive influence. Positive far-reaching effects. Therefore we choose positive action. We choose right action. Sometimes this choice may not be clear. As ambassadors of illumined action, we equip ourselves with the necessary tools for positive selection of our intents. Intention is the seed of action. From this seed sprouts the results of intent, thought, and action, creation. Blessed Masters of the Art of Creating, each day is precious. Time must be well spent. Our efforts must be well placed with knowledge, intent is clear, and our actions are blessed with strength and surety. We will find assistance, great insights, and clear direction indicated with the use of our precious signal star. We have experienced today the process of selection, direction, and timing, and we have received a very full vision of the signals we may find along the highest path of action. Dear Ambassadors of Illumined Action, our focus is the creation of the global platform to bring forth the form of the mighty great star of Genesis. This is the global network of the light of Genesis. This is our focus. Action which leads to the accomplishment of this goal is right action. Good. Very good. On Sunday, we will add a final step onto our technique of the holy season. Yes, it is good. Well done. Now rest.
Many blessings. Very good. This is the Star Cell Training Course. You have received an introduction to the Signal Star. You understand how to use it. You understand how to find your positive indicator, your negative indicator. You understand how to use it for selection, direction, and timing. You will recall that you used it for selection of the wheels of Genesis that you would use in a biogenesis treatment session. You used it for direction, finding out where on the body those wheels should go, as well as where on the photograph of your home the wand should go. And you used it for timing, both with the wheels on the body and the wand on the photograph. You used the signal star to indicate how long they needed to remain in each location. So you have learned how to use the signal star in a biogenesis treatment session. You've learned how to use the signal star in day-to-day -day aspects of life. This is just the beginning. We will learn much more about the signal star and bring that information to you. As of now, it is important for you to get daily exercise with the signal star, daily practice, just a little bit each day. You will do this doing the technique of the holy season as you need to use the signal star in that technique. If you are unaware of that technique, go ahead and look on the website for the instructions for the technique of the holy season. This will give you daily exercise using the signal star. You can also use the signal star daily for your personal biogenesis sessions and for that prosperity technique. I thank you for joining us for this training course, and I look forward to seeing you again for more training on the Signal Star Cell.